is September 1st and at <laughs> 6 o'clock um, we wanted to do an update like a hurricane update on where we are and what our plans are for the hurricane and what we've already done to prepare we're currently in Brunswick Georgia and plan on staying here we had talked about at one point trying to leave and go further north but if you've been watching the news at yeah. all like the hurricane is also going north so right uh, like every hurricane that we've had any part of when you're like a week or 10 days out and the forecasts are coming like you just you can't put too much into them because it changes so fast and so we kind of waited and waited a little bit before making too many decisions about what we're going to do and yeah now now the majority of the models have it swooping up the coast and hopefully pretty much missing all of Florida and Georgia directly but the outer wall uh, the outer bands are, are hitting that entire coast in in the predominant model so we could if it stays as it is right now we could see anywhere from 20 knot winds up to 70 knots or it truly could still be worse there is always a chance it can still come in land anywhere up the coast right now yeah. so obviously the whole marina is a heavy liveaboard marina um, everybody is going through all their hurricane prep and we're doing the same and yeah we just wanted to let you know what what we're doing and like she said we are planning to stay now that is based on what we know right now we still have a car uh, so we have some options there depending on the severity of what we experience if it's horrible something crazy good we got a cat three cat four that's just gonna hit us dead on all three of us will four Zeke two he gets to come <laughs> we'll all be taken off but there are different scenarios in which Lauren and Rivers might go um, and I'll stay to kind of manage the boat and ride it out and make sure bad things don't happen that could have been prevented if, a, we, if somebody was here um, and in the current situation if the winds get really bad 50 60 knots kind of scary bad they're having a hurricane party up in yeah. the lounge up here um, so Lauren and Rivers will most likely go hang out up there while Zeke and I hang on the boat just to make sure. just uh, yeah the nice thing I guess nice about being a liveaboard is that this is our home and we're here so if we're present you can see if like fenders are misplaced or uh, a line is particularly you know not holding up or stretching too much or yeah boats that aren't aligned right there's there's just a lot of things that could possibly happen that if you're here you could easily fix it um, get a little wet but so that's why we're sticking around and again it's our home we, we want to do everything we can to make sure cecilia remains on top of the water and in good shape yeah so so here's what we've done well just about to go meet lauren because part of our preparation is making sure we get enough food um depending on how long we might be unable to go get anymore and apparently she has a whole car full up at the parking lot. Hi. Aren't you cool? Was I supposed to bring a dock cart? No. No? I mean, it's not that much, but I've got... Yeah, let's take a couple trips. I went to the grocery store. Yeah. On a Sunday. Which is never my favorite, but it was all right. We didn't do too bad. Yeah. We got enough stuff that, worst case scenario, if we were have to get out of here, um, if the tide is so high that we won't be able to stay in the marina, uh, we'll have enough to carry us for a while, or if we just can't get to a grocery, um, there could be a lot of flooding going on around here, so. Lauren got a bunch of all the basics. Um, we'll have we'll have 200 gallons of water on board, plenty of fuel and all that. So, when we go out, 
And we'll show you what we have done to the boat on the outside. Good job. So we haven't done a ton yet as far as taking things off the boat, uh, but what we have done, I've uh, made a bunch of dock lines. We bought some new uh, 150 feet of dock line. Uh, we bought some fenders and hung all around the boat. Um, and then just generally kind of been cleaning up all the stuff that we normally have laying up in here. Uh, most of that is gone down below. Let's go up on the deck. Yeah, we're going to go sit. Let's go show everybody the dinghy. So we went ahead and got the head sail down this morning. Wanted to get that done before there was any chance of heavy wind. Much easier to do when it's not windy. Secured the swivel and all that, and I'll be wrapping that up a little bit more uh, when it's closer to uh, smackdown time. We also obviously got the dinghy off of the arch and hoisted it up. We have yet to strap it down. We'll do that, of course, before things hit, too. Mainsail, we only have a little shred of it that hangs out on ours, very small. So we unhook the outhaul and wrap that securely around. Again, you'll see a lot of lines and stuff still sort of laying around. All of that will be cleaned up and strapped down tight before the major wind hits. And that's kind of what most people are doing. Some people are farther ahead than us, but most of them are um, not staying on the boat or they're not living here. They just come and take care of all of it and then they go. We are saving some things for a couple days, like all of our canvas. This will all come down before the major wind hits and go below. But of course, it's nice to have it out so that we can actually stay out of the sun and rain until that time happens. And it's also not too tough to get off. Uh, the wind is not a big factor as far as that goes. Got the end of the boom lashed over to the side and strapped down. But uh, this is the head sail and that'll go down below also uh, when it's much closer to go time. The grill has to come off. Um, if things are gonna be real, real crazy, I may actually take the motor off and lay it down in the floor of the cockpit and we'll take all of these block and tackles off too. Just so the less things you have flapping around the better. And um, we will position the boat farther away from the dock and double up all the lines. Like I said, I, I made all new dock lines. That's one of them right there. That's the one of the shorties. I also made two 50 footers which are here and up there and they double as bow stern and spring lines but then we also have uh, a couple more real long ones and some shorter ones so we'll be doubling up everything and we'll also be bringing one across to the stern there also something worth uh, mentioning that we hadn't talked about is the storm surge that we're concerned about um, this right now we're at getting on low tide and these are the pilings that hold the entire marina together problem is when we are at high tide especially right now because we're very high tide there's only about five feet left of this piling for the dock to float up to meaning that if the storm surge hits at the same time as high tide, it could be a very bad thing. It could truly send the docks up over the top. Now, once you get to a certain level, the water is going out over all of these lowlands and it's not confined to the little tributaries and coves and all that. So the water spreads way out. And it essentially, once you, the closer you get to the top of the pilings, the more volume of water it takes to raise the docks higher and higher because it's spreading out over such a greater area. So that's something that we're hoping is the case, but it's one of our concerns. And if we were in a situation where the docks were imminent to clear the top of those pilings, we're preparing to have the boat ready to leave the marina 
if the winds are low enough to allow it. So storm surge is our biggest concern. Obviously we know that things can change in an instant. I mean hurricanes luckily it's not you exactly get, an instant you but get, yeah. You get a little bit of warning um, and we are prepared to make make those changes and yeah. those choices. Change our decisions based on what we what we know and yeah. Again, it is nice that we have a car, so even at the last minute, Brunswick's not a big uh, town, so it, we can get out if we have to. Um, but we're going to keep you guys informed as what we're doing. Mm -hmm. um, Especially if we do stay here on the boat and we're only getting like, only getting tropical force winds, like we really would like to show you document it. what that is and, yeah. and kind of what is going on. Any issues with Eric have. will show that to you on the boat while, <laughs> while you I'm show the party. <laughs> I'm the <boat>. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna release this one today. Uh, you're seeing it now, uh, and then probably one on Tuesday. That'll be the last bits of our prep, the stuff that you saw that we haven't done yet, and we'll show you the boat in complete hurricane prep mode. Um, and then it's. Right now, it's supposed to be early Wednesday morning or a little bit later in the day, Wednesday, that thing start to get real. Um, so we probably won't be able to upload one on Wednesday. Thursday, maybe. So we'd like to get you one showing right before we the hurricane comes and then show you everything that transpires as it passes. Yeah. And then we'll still release our regular video, too, probably. I hope so. <laughs> maybe. I don't know. It just depends. It like, just depends on... Yeah, this this, this may be a, a, a real-time update yeah. week without a, a actual episode, but we'll get back home right away, we promise. But right now, we'll leave you with some breaking, breaking videos of what's happening in the Bahamas literally as we speak. Yeah, it's, it's really kind of horrible. horrific. Be so. prepared to look for ways to help the Bahamas because yeah. they are not a, a wealthy nation and they are going to be hurting very bad. The Abacos, where we just were a year ago, are just getting destroyed. So we'll do some things for that too. And and if anybody has ideas yes. that we uh, for things that we could maybe stock our boat, because our, our plan still is to get to the Bahamas in December. So anything that we can bring that would be helpful. Yeah. At this point, we might just be loading the boat down with whatever we can fit, find out that is needed and right. try to deliver it, because that's going to be bad over there. Yeah.